all right guys welcome to target government jobs yes today we are going to do today law of indices topic uh, it is very important from simplification and approximation point of perspective if something raised to something such thing comes in your simplification or approximation calculation you get confused what to do exactly so the six rules are important from basic perspective this is not tricks but this is basic mandatory requirement when you are preparing for simplification and approximation this series is completely dedicated for this so you have to go through these tutorials to get an hold to get a good hold on basics of simplification and approximation so this is one of those topics law of indices so let's do those rules one by one these are six major rules uh, so first important rule is this is not rule basically let's first understand what is base and what is index okay so if something raised to something like this b raised to c where this b is base and this c is index okay so b is base and c is index this is this is the only thing like a raised to b so a is base b is index 3 raised to 5 a is base 5 is index here okay so let's start with first rule a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n you can notice that this base is same okay when the base are same and the indices are different and when we have to do the multiplication what we should do is we should just add the indices on their head we should add the indices on the head of the base that's it a raised to m plus n let's take an example 5 raised to 3 into 5 raised to 8 is equal to 5 raised to 3 plus 8 which is equal to 5 raised to 11 are we clear with this yes then we uh, let's take if something is negative and something is positive uh, we can easily do 5 raised to minus 3 plus 8 which is equal to 5 raised to 5 okay we have separate rule for negative also we'll do that in next rule let's go to second rule a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n we can also write this as a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n let's take an example 7 raised to 23 upon 7 raised to 35 oh not 35 uh, 7 raised to let's do some other example 7 raised to 23 divided by 7 raised to 13 is equal to 7 raised to 23 minus 13 which is equal to 7 raised to 10 okay or you can say 5 raised to 13 divided by 5 raised to 8 is equal to 5 raised to 13 minus 8 which is equal to 5 raised to 5 are we clear with this second rule okay then we'll move to third rule a raised to m raised to n is equal to a raised to m n this implies m into n this is nothing but m into n so let's take an example 5 raised to 3 raised to 6 it will be 5 raised to 3 into 6 is nothing but 5 raised to 18 let's take fourth rule something raised to 0 is always 1 anything like m raised to 0 will be 1 5 raised to 0 will be 1 25 raised to 0 will be 1 19 raised to 0 will be 1 anything raised to 0 will always give me the value 1 this is what negative rule is 1 upon a raised to minus m is equal to a raised to m or a raised to minus m is equal to a raised to 1 by m here the index is negative when the index is negative we should reverse it like 1 upon a raised to minus m here index was negative so we I just reversed it here the index was negative so I just reversed it that's it if it is 5 1 upon 5 raised to minus 3 it would be 5 cube or sorry yeah 5 cube or 5 raised to minus 3 then it will be 1 upon 5 cube that's it and last rule we'll think about sixth rule we'll talk about this sixth rule uh, something raised to m upon n so let's take an example of uh, let's take 4 4 raised to 3 by 2 so 4 raised to 3 by 2 is like square root of 4 ka cube which is nothing but square root of 64 which is nothing but 8 so this 3 by 2 is upper ka index under or niche ka index bahar are we clear with this so in this way if, the, if you remember these six rules you will never face a problem in simplification approximation related to this we will do some problems uh, in next video so do subscribe this youtube channel for more videos thank you